Hey, what's up? This is Kevin Moses, CEO and founder of Exa.ai. And today, I want to welcome you into our platform. Thank you very much for taking the decision to automate your marketing and making sure that you can launch ads faster simply by using artificial intelligence. Today, I want to show you exactly how this platform works. I want to show you what to do, what does what, and just make sure that you have all the tools and the knowledge to launch a successful campaign through Exile.ai. So let's do it. All right, so welcome to the dashboard. In here, you're gonna find everything that you need to launch a successful Facebook ad campaign using exa.ai. Now, let me show you a little bit around. Let me show you what does what and how it works. So first, right here, you have everything that has the quick access. You're gonna find the Automation League, which is basically the Facebook group of Exod that we call the Automation League. Pretty cool name if you ask me. And in here in the Automation League, once you join, you're going to be able to join the entire exile.ai community where you're going to be able to ask questions and get answers from the community or from exa directly. Now you have the Discord community, which I think is the best one because in there, it's a chat system where we can instantly answer you any question that you have and you can have conversation with us and you can have conversation with other exile.ai users and this is growing day by day and it's really incredible. Now, the help desk is where you are going to find all the answers to the question that you have about specific things on the platform or even on Facebook. If you don't know how to create an ad account or any of that, we're gonna show you how to do it. The analytics is something that is coming very soon. We're making sure that there's no bugs, that everything looks good and everything looks great. You're going to be able to follow up on all the data inside of your campaign and take decisions upon all the results in my account you're going to be able to find your payment methods your subscription and all the information about your entire exod account and inside of my campaigns you're going to find your actual exod campaigns that you either launch on exod and are active or in review or, or maybe just turned off you're going to be able to see all of your campaigns inside of my campaigns now if we look at the menu bar on the left you're going to find the dashboard my campaigns that we can also find here and the event manager where you're going to be able to create custom events based on your pixel. And you're also going to be able to find your account settings exactly like my account. Now, the next step would be to go and start a new campaign, click in here, but you have two options. You can either click it from here or you can go directly inside of my campaigns and click on add new. Now we're going to go back to the dashboard and we're going to click on start new campaign here. Now you're going to be redirected into the campaign builder. Now here is very simple. The first step is to select your Facebook page. Now the Facebook page is a page that is connected directly inside of your business manager or that you have access as an administrator through your profile. Now, if I click here, it's going to give me a list of all of my pages. So I'm going to look for Exod. So I'm going to scroll down or I can simply just write Exod right there. And now I'm going to click on next step and I'm going to name my campaign. I'm going to name it Epic Test. And I have a few options here. The first one is special ad categories. Special ad categories is for everything that is either credit or employment or housing because Facebook doesn't want you to discriminate. They want to make sure that you are following the Facebook advertising rules. And in here, you're going to be able to select housing or employment or credit. It's really going to depend on your business model. And I, if I have this selected, you're going to notice that I cannot click on use my custom audience. This is because special ad removes lookalike audiences and various interests, behaviors, and demographics. There's a lot of things that you are limited when you activate special ad categories. So for now, I'm not going to select this. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to keep this selected. Use Exod's AI targeting. Now, what is the difference between these two? Exod AI targeting is the system that is going to create all the targeting for you based on a really large database that we created for each and every niche in the world. Obviously, if your niche is not in the database, just send us an email and we will add it ASAP. 
Now, the second option is custom audiences. And this is based on your custom audiences. As you see here, I have a list of all my custom audiences. And if I select one, this, what is going to do is create all lookalike audiences between one and 10% based on this specific custom audience. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Angsot AI targeting and I'm going to click on next step. Here I'm going to find the option to select my niche. So let's go and search for a niche. Let's say Facebook marketing. Now you need to understand the thought process of this database. The reality is it's not actually literal because if you think about it, Facebook is a behavioral based system, not like Google, which for example is keyword based. On Facebook, people have behaviors and demographics and they do specific things and actions that determine in which segmentation they're going to be. Now, if I want to sell my Facebook marketing services, obviously I'm not looking for people who wrote or search for Facebook marketing. What I'm looking for is behaviors of people who behave maybe like business owners or entrepreneurs. That's who I'm looking for. Small business owners or people who would need Facebook marketing services. So if you're looking for your niche, don't just look for the literal name of your niche. Think about behaviors. Think about who is going to be purchasing or seeing your ads. Who do you want to show your ads to? And there's an example that I always give for wine, for example. We could go and write wine or wine fans. That is a great idea. But the other people who could buy our wine is moms. So I would select moms. And obviously, this is going to target moms. And we know moms like to drink a lot of wine. <laughs> so think outside of the box when you are looking for your niche. Maybe your exact same niche is not there, but other niches that are in the database could absolutely do a big difference for your business and could actually be the best bet. I'll give you an example. If you're looking for homeowners, and you want to sell plumbing services. You could obviously select plumbing services, but we found that the best niche for homeowners is the HVAC niche, which has the best possible interest behaviors and demographics to find home owners. All right, so now let's go to the next step, which is the objective. Now the objective is very simple, is the business objective that you have for your campaign more awareness or reach more customers or just traffic on your website and understand that the objective that you are going to select is the objective that Facebook's algorithm is going to base its optimization for. This means that if you select generate more traffic, you're only going to get more traffic into your website. You're not going to get more sales or add to cards. Facebook is only going to focus on getting more traffic inside of your website. So this is where you need to be very specific of what you want Facebook's algorithm to do for you. So let's say conversions. So let's put my website here. All right. And select my pixel. And let's say I have an e-commerce. I would select something like add to cart or initiated checkout or even purchases for my website. For example, exit, I would select something like complete registration. So if I click on next step, now we're going to have to select the location we want the ads to appear. And I could say something like Montreal because Exot is based in Montreal. So I would select Montreal, but I could do United States or worldwide. I can really go crazy here and select the best possible locations where I want my ads to appear. Now, here's the fun part, looking for the best images and videos for your campaign. Obviously, if you already have your creative, you're not going to be needing this specific tool. And if you don't have any creative yet, well, this is the perfect option for you. Now, let's say I have a home improvement business. I want to promote my home improvement business. So I would look for something like home improvement. And remember, this is not a keyword system. Do not write any keyword. This is a search that you do in our database. We're partners with Shutterstock. So you have access to millions and millions and millions of images and videos. Of course, this is a premium feature. So you would have to upgrade to be able to have these images and videos. Now let's put the budget, maybe something like $10 a day. I can also set a 
start date and an end date for my campaign, but for now, I'm not going to use any of that. And I'm going to click on preview my ads. There we go. So now we got three really cool images that we could use for our campaigns. And obviously the Shutterstock watermark is going to disappear once you launch your campaign. Do not worry about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover the ad itself and this option is going to appear. Edit and delete. If I click on delete, this is going to delete the ad itself. So now my campaign only has two ads. And if I click new creative, it's going to add the third one again. And I can go up all the way to seven. Now let's edit the first ad. So if I click here, this pop-up appears. Now, this is really cool because I have a few options here. I can click on upload creatives here. So here I can select any ad that I want to upload inside of my campaign. So obviously Exod AI creatives powered by Shutterstock here you can find a lot of content, a lot of images that you can use for your campaign. And in here, for example, I have 2,500 pages of creative. If I don't like the images that I get from this search, I can always just go back and make a new search. Now, let's look for another example. Flooring installation, for example. Preview my ads. There we go, we get three really awesome images. And I could go here and click on the image and switch this to videos. Now this is going to give me access to a lot of videos that I can select for my ads. Let's say for example, this one, really cool video that starts really awesome. So you see he's installing a floor. Now I have a lot of options here for my flooring services, if that would be my business. Now I will go back to images and just select a new one just to make sure that you understand a little bit of how this system works. Now I can go to existing creative and find creatives that I have already used inside of this ad account. So you see I have some ads here that I could use for my ads. And what I'm going to do next is change the message of the ad itself. Now let's sell this service. Best floor installation service in Montreal. Only five spots left. Book now. Boom. And my headline could be something like flooring services in Montreal. And now my description, book your appointment now it's free there we go and the call to action could be something like book now and save changes there we go we have the first ad and i could do this for all two and i could add more of these so maybe i want four or i want five ads inside of my campaign or maybe six or seven i could go all the way to seven or all the way down to one but for now, let's just delete everything. And there we go. The next step would be to just approve the ads and voila, you have launched your first exit.ai campaign.